Hello? Dr. Quartermain. Oh, Mr. Corrigan. What is it? Well, something strange is going on. I'm at the disco. And? Well, Susan Moore hasn't shown up, and the bartender says that she hasn't uh, called in either. Well, what about Alan? He's been in the back office all night, from what I've gathered. Alone. Well, then perhaps Susan's at the cottage. No, no, no. I checked there earlier, and apparently she took a cab to the disco. And then left. Right, but uh, I don't know where to. Well, maybe you should check the cottage again. Yeah, later. Look, I'm going to hang around here for a while. And, uh, see what our good doctor's up to. Okay, fine. Just uh, please keep me posted, okay? Always, always. <laughs> Bye, Doc. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was here. What's that? Alan, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Do you mind if I use the phone? Do you mind if I use the phone? With the phone, no, go ahead. Thank you. I'm sorry again. I... Nothing, why? Well, you look so... So what, Kathy? What do I look like? Sort of unhappy. I'm terribly sorry. I apologize. Maybe this drink will help my condition. You know, I haven't seen Susan tonight. Do you know who she is? No. Show up here. She's so good about Look, that. Look, Kathy, I don't want to gossip Wait, with you right Marcy? now. Sorry. Yeah. Anyone seen Marcy? Uh, yeah, she went to the little girl's room. When? Just a minute ago. She's gone. I'm to leave you is the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in my life. But it's clear to me now that there's just no other way. When you read this, I will already be gone. Please don't try to find me. You may be followed and nothing you could say will change my mind. Alan, know that I love you with all my heart. And I pray that someday we will truly be together as we've dreamed. Your child will be my comfort in the days ahead without you. Until the day we can be together again, I'll raise our baby with the same love and tenderness that you've shown me. Ever yours, my love, Susan. Alan! I didn't hear you arrive. What are, what are you looking at in the telescope? Nothing. No conferences, no business meetings with your dear little partner tonight? Not now, Monica. Oh, well, she called away. seem unusually calm tonight.
Dear Lord, I get here bright and early in order to have a little peace and quiet, and this is what I end up with. Nobody to answer the damn telephones. Hello. This is Edward Quartermain. Yeah, well, of course I'll hold for Switzerland. It's a good thing I did get here early. Yes. Yeah. This is he. Oh, Russell. Well, it's good to hear your voice. I've been expecting your call. Is that so? Well, of course, I couldn't be more pleased. Oh, that is excellent news. Excellent. Uh, Russell, my son just came in, and I would like him to hear the news, too, from you. Now, you wait. I'll put him on in a moment. Tell him exactly what you told me. Okay. Alan, Russell, Switzerland. Hello, Russell. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. The connection's very clear. You go ahead. You say all the quarter main accounts have been replenished? With interest? I don't understand how that can be. I see. Well, I can understand now why my father was grinning when I came into the room. That's certainly good news. Well, thank you very much for calling, Russell. I appreciate it. Always nice to hear from you with such good news. Bye-bye, then. What can I say? Congratulations. Oh, I don't deserve it. Alexandria is the one. Well, you uh, certainly underestimated your cousin, didn't you, Alan? No, you're wrong about that. I never underestimated Alex, not for one minute. Well, you never trusted her. No, I didn't trust her. I don't trust her now. I think they were all very lucky that she happened to clear everything up before she did her vanishing act. <laughs> Believe me, Alan, there was a great deal more than mere luck involved. Oh, I'm sure about that. Would you like to tell me a little about it? Would you like to tell me where Alexandria is right now? Alan, I haven't the slightest idea where Alexandria went. You should know by now she's not in the habit of handing out her itinerary. I know, she's great at hiding things, especially herself when it becomes convenient to her. I don't understand your attitude, Alan. You have what you want. Alex is out of your hair, the family fortune is intact. Yes, that may be so. What about all the hell that she put us through? For the first time in its existence, the Quartermain fortune was tottering. I tell you something, Dad, I've got more than enough reason never to trust Alex again. Alan, if you can spare a few more moments, I have something I'd like to show you. I guarantee you it will put an end to all questions about Alexandria. Uh-huh. Well, you sure look nice today, Monica. Sure, I wish I felt that way. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of errands to run, and then I'm going to be home at lunch. I'm mm -hmm. checking out early, then. You said it. All right. Good heavens! What do we have here? I got a bad sprain. Oh. Doc Rick's going to fix it. Well, couldn't get a better man. You take care. I'm telling you, there isn't anything that you can say or do that's going to change my opinion about Alex. No. How about this? You recognize it, of course. Is that the statue? Yes, the statue. It was black. Paint, my boy. I had it removed. Alex uh, painted it in order to conceal its beauty and its value. And it has both, hasn't it? And it's ours. The world's largest diamond. Alex gave it to me as a farewell gift to the Quartermain family, to all of us. <laughs> Alan, you don't seem to be very excited. All our problems are solved. All of your problems, maybe. Alan. What is this? I, I, I didn't expect you to get upset over the whole damn thing. Not over upset over that stupid thing. Who cares about the diamond? I just can't believe that Susan's gone. I can't get it out of my head. Susan? Who's Susan? What the hell are you talking about? I just can't believe that she's gone. Are you being 
Susan Moore is gone. That's exactly what I'm saying, Dr. Quartermain. She's gone. Look, at the cottage is locked up tight. No one's seen her. Well, where did she go? No one seems to know. Oh, that's impossible. She can't just slip away. For heaven's sakes, Mr. Corrigan, I hired you to keep an eye on her. Yes, I know that. Look, at, I don't know how she did it, but she got by me somehow. Well, they must have planned it. No, I don't think so. Your husband seemed to be just as uh, surprised as everybody else. Well, I mean, that could be a ruse. He could be pretending not to know. Um, couldn't he? Well, I suppose it's possible. Well, of course, just to throw us off the track. What are they doing? What is he doing? Is he keeping her in another city or what? I don't know, Dr. Quartermain, but I can sure find out. How? How, Mr. Corrigan? Yeah, just relax, all right? All those around the disco some more. That seems to be the only place in this town to find out anything. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no, there... There might be another way. Well, you give me the lead and I'll follow it. Well, Susan... Susan's aunt lives here. Uh, her name is Alice Grant. I don't, I don't think she'd leave town without telling her. Yeah, where do I find this Alice Grant? Uh, she's, uh, she's at the Weber's house. 